The question is, how do we prepare children to succeed in the future in a world that is rapidly changing for future jobs that may not even exist yet? Learning STEAM skills may be one of the most important skills that today's children will need for the future. In today's video, I'm going to talk about three easy ways to add STEAM to your kids' crafting classes. Don't worry, it's actually really easy to teach STEAM skills through creative crafting. And you don't have to be a mathematician or a scientist to do so. Let's dive in. Hey there, I'm Stefani, co-founder of the Creative Crafting Club, the place to be if you want to make money teaching creative crafts to kids. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics. We're going to, going to talk about the three easy ways to add STEAM, that's science, technology, engineering, arts and math, to your kids' crafting classes. Okay, be honest, does the whole STEAM concept freak you out just a little bit? Don't worry, you're not alone. Let me tell you a quick story. When I was 11, I remember watching my brother turn our entire dining room into a marble run adventure. He used plastic tubes, recycled boxes, he built little levers that could turn and springs that shot the marbles into the air. He was on his own creative journey. He was busy discovering, exploring and problem solving. I was like, at the stage, I was like, nerd alert. <laughs> but secretly I was wishing he would allow me to join in on the fun. So my brother ended up becoming a, an engineer and an entrepreneur and he created a business with technology that, that didn't exist 10 or 20 years ago. As an engineer and entrepreneur myself, I feel extremely passionate about the importance of STEAM learning. Kid, kids need to be inspired to start exploring and discovering and asking questions so important from a young age. Because here's the thing, we learn by failing this is how we innovate. We fail our way to the right answer. And us engineers fail all the time. We just call it something else. We call it data collecting. The focus and importance on STEAM is growing worldwide. So in today's episode, we'll explain firstly what STEAM is and why it's important for kids to practice STEAM skills. And, and then we'll give three easy and practical ways for you to add STEAM elements to your crafting classes. According to a report published by Dell Technologies, 85% of jobs that will exist in 2030 haven't even been invented yet. Everywhere around us are new kinds of opportunities and careers that didn't exist in a decade ago. So how do we prepare kids for jobs that don't even exist yet? We recently asked a few of our crafty kids what they want to be when they grow up. Here's what they said. Gianluca, age six, wants to be an inventor and make YouTube videos. Sarah, age eight, wants to design video games. And Oliver, age seven, wants to work in, get this, artificial intelligence. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you remember what you wanted to be when you were a kid? Kids today already think so differently. It was less than three decades ago, I think it was 1991, that the World Wide Web became publicly available. Think of all the new opportunities that the internet created. Where will we be and what will our kids be doing in the next few decades? More importantly, how can we provide kids learning experiences that will prepare them to become the innovators, AI experts, designers, and who knows what else? How are we to educate children for technologies that have not yet been developed and careers and opportunities that don't even exist yet? STEAM is a hot topic, as it's an integrated approach to learning that develops critical thinking and encourages kid, kids to think more broadly about real-world problems with a hands-on approach. Oh, I just love it. Introducing to STEAM to kids from a young age cultivates collaborative exploration and problem solving. Problem-based learning through play is hands down the best way to get your kids excited about STEAM. And we all know that kids learn the best if it's through play. So how to add STEAM to your kids' crafting classes? Let's chat about that. Okay, so here are a few practical ways that you can try to introduce STEAM learning into your arts and crafts classes. Let's start with number one. Nurture curiosity by asking a lot of questions. 
A creative crafting class is a wonderful playground for developing creativity and innovation. And the best part is that there's not only one solution to, pro to a problem, there are probably millions. So give your students the freedom to discover and learn. The best way for you to facilitate creativity and nurture curiosity is to ask loads of questions. Look at these sailboats we created with our 7 to 12 year old group, for example. Here we put some material options out and asked the kids, what material would you like to use to create your sailboats? They picked their options and the next question was how they plan to connect the different materials to create their sailboats. Through critical thinking and some brainstorming, the kids came up with the most incredible solutions. Then they had to figure out how to make their sailboats, sailboats float. From cutting up pool needles to sticking bottles and lids to the bottom of their boats, you get the point. Inspire your students by asking questions rather than just giving them instructions or offering solutions. And also give them some time to think about it and figure it out. Problem solve together. If a student struggles with a task, don't take over and do the step for them. Ask lots of questions and try to figure out what the solution is together. Okay, so number two is let go. Learning through experimenting can get a bit messy sometimes and it can be hard for us as adults to not step in and say, look what you've done, let's clean up this mess. Kids are natural steam learners. For adults, it may look like they are just making a mess, splashing paint around and unpacking and repacking and sometimes even bending something until it breaks. But this is how they learn by investigating and discovering and trying new things. It's important to let go and give kids a chance to explore and discover. And then number three, celebrate the failures. As I mentioned before, learning from failure is how we innovate. Therefore, if my calculations are correct, every, mistakes, every mistake we make should bring us closer to success, right? Now, that sounds to me like something worth celebrating. How often do, we, do you celebrate your kids' learning? Showcase your kids' and your students' projects and creations. And don't forget to showcase the process as well. The process demonstrates that it takes a series of failures to get to the eventual success. Success takes time. So to wrap up, let's do a quick recap on the three ways to add STEAM to your crafting classes. Number one, nurture curiosity by asking loads of questions and remember to not take over. Number two, let go. And number three, celebrate the failures. So there you have it. Now, I'd love to hear from you. How do you add STEAM elements to your classroom? Please tell me in the comments below. Until next time, cheers.